I'm just getting the Rilalo 006 buggy ready to hit the skate park. We're gonna do some durability testing. Let's get to it. Okay, that was a couple of hard landings already. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, the fan does not sound happy, but I think it was just touching the uh, touching the heatsink. Damage report that will snap eventually. This is already loose, but that's all right. I've wound the springs all the way down front and rear just to pick the body up as much as possible. More. You're stuck in here. Let's see if I can help you out. Come on. Hey! <laughs> we got it out. <laughs> this is hilarious. But this is fun. That was cut out completely. Could be low voltage. Have a look. It just abruptly cut out then. It's having a great old time. Everything's connected, everything's hot, but we're running half throttle most of the time. It must get warm under that shell. Actually, yeah, the plastic's, the plastic's quite warm. I'd probably cut, I'm inclined to cut this open a bit and let it cool. The heat is pouring out of here. I'm going to turn that back on just so that fan can cool the ESC. The motor is almost too hot to touch. The ESC is cooking as well. Now we're on 2S today. I'm, in, I'm using the stock battery. That seems to have been damaged. At, ooh. We're banging this thing around like we are. The uh, battery compartment has a bump and that with these landings has put a dent in here this there we go we flattened it out it's just a, a bunch of uh, lipo layers as long as it's not punctured it's all right but i don't think i'll do any more jumping until i get a either grind that bump out or we put a foam pillow underneath so this thing has something firm to sit on uh, so it's not hitting that all the time i think i'll give this thing a rest from jumps it's actually held up just fine i pulled out my bag of tools and I've got metal tools with this thing, and remember, it came with a big fat bag of parts. 
you're very well supplied here. Even if you do something stupid and take it to the skate park like I just did, I gotta say it was a lot of fun. The only thing really I had any problem with was these nuts had backed out a little bit. I used the metal tool just then to do them up. And this thing's solid as a rock. There are some impact points on the bottom of the chassis here where the carbon fiber will fail. It, it's gonna snap there and it's gonna snap there, but so far it hasn't. Uh, the bulkheads being carbon fiber I think also is a, mm, it's not ideal, put it that way. I think these things will actually fail eventually. But so far, they held up. I see one screw's backed out a bit, actually. Yeah, look at that. You might want to check all your screws before you run it. I'm pretty happy with this, honestly. It got pretty hot, even though we ran it at half throttle a lot of the time. It still didn't like running, even like that. I think it, it would do better from better cooling. You definitely wouldn't run it at a skate park on 3S, but on 2, it's pretty sweet. And as far as durability goes, yeah, I mean, it's hung in there. We haven't broken anything. We got some scratches and stuff and bangs and bits and pieces, but yeah, it's held up pretty good. Throw me a like if you got something out of this, guys. Link's in the description where you can get one of these yourself, and I will catch you next time on RCTNT. Thanks for watching.